leadership is going to pan out. Exactly. Uh, but we move on to our next story. The biggest super moon in the UAE lit up the sky on Wednesday night. Now, now the moon was a sight for sore eyes last night. And before I continue, I think we should turn this into a game. And you guys should have a shot of coffee or water every time you say the word moon. Because I feel like a lot of that is coming up. I'm not prepared. <laughs> no, you guys. You don't have anything. <laughs> Okay, right. send us your photos and your videos. <laughs> Or maybe just count the amount of times we say moon in this segment and comment because I think it's going to be a lot. <clears throat> Here we go. Now, as the biggest and brightest full moon lit up the skies on Wednesday eve from 6.07 p.m. all over the Emirates, the strawberry moon was the closest it's been to Earth this year. This was the third out of four supermoons. The fourth and last supermoon will be on August 12, 2022. This supermoon will be seen in the UAE skies until early Friday morning. Uh, it was at, um, so that means we'll continue to see it tonight. It was at the biggest and brightest on Wednesday. Uh, so if you missed it last night and you can see the footage on our Instagram, like a lot of people got some seriously cool shots. It was just very, very bright last night. You can still catch it tonight, but last night was the brightest. Exactly. And residents took to social media to share stunning pictures of the supermoon. Many indulged in some cleansing rituals, full moon manifestations. Many shared feeling a light, almost positive energy around them. So do comment and tell us if you've been feeling a little different off late, more positive, more like, I don't know, you know, any different aura or vibe. Did they? I mean, people on Twitter were just like, you know, our energies feel different. And I feel like a lot of people, it's just, I don't know, I feel like it just, you know, the cosmos have a way of interfering with the energies and signals, neutrons and electrons work differently and the tides tides are different, like a lot of things are different. So I know a dog (laughs) who lives in Dubai, her name is Lola and her mom shared Lola's the cutest dog, Lola's adventures if you see her on Instagram and her her dog mom uh, shared a story last night and was like anyone else's doggo acting weird tonight, we think it's because of the full moon, she's so out of character going crazy and then freezing and then staring. Uh, into thin air, then barking, and then being a little weirdo. <laughs> I still love her though. I um, mean, the dog is part werewolf, you can just tell. Isn't that weird? But like, the people are saying that they're finding calm, tranquil, serenity. I found none of that. I didn't, you know, I was just Have you been a feeling day happier lately, more positive? Weirdly, yes. It's the moon! <laughs> Does it's that mean that. I have the positivity of Friday? But yeah, weirdly, I have been. Yeah, it's the moon. It's Yay. very celestial and just the cosmic energies are coming into play for you and it's all going to be bright and positive. If you've been feeling that, then it's just going to be like there for a long time from what I've read online. I don't know how true that is. Do you believe that? I think so. And But wouldn't you want to believe that? True, but then no, because I'm like, you create your own positivity. Like, I don't want to believe that my happiness and positivity is based on the moon because then that's not going to... Like there's a, this is the biggest supermoon of the year. So if the yeah. positivity burst I've had in the last couple of days is because of the supermoon and it's not going to come and that's the positivity I'm going to have for the year? No, thank you. I'm going to create my own positivity, create my own energy. I mean, you're right. But like, you know, we are just tiny beings and a part of such a huge universe. So it's like, you know, sometimes when the planets and the rocks and all of those things just align and it, you know, like I see the effect it would have on our energy because we are part of the universe. I want to stop you now. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard you laugh like that. She's just like, <laughs> but it's true. It's like we are no. part of the universe. Yeah, of course we're part of the universe. Yeah, true. I just, just, I feel like I need beads for this show sometimes. Some of the stuff that we talk about, it's just like, <laughs> rubbing some beads. You have love beads. The love beads. Can you explain that? Because I think love beads might give people like a weird... So, uh, phone we got chain. phone chains. Phone, yeah. My phone chain is actually love beads themed. Exactly. And love stone. So Casey has the beautiful love stone as her phone chain. We have digressed. And if you rub it well enough, you know, every night before sleeping, <laughs> you'll manifest See? amazing admiration, love, unconditional love, if I may add. See? Don't understand how. In no time at all. Uh, let's jump 